Welcome back, I'm James, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can host multiple node apps on a single server. And this actually came uh, from a question from another video that I did, uh, which is about uh, adding a new user on a Linux server. And it's from this person, Zoki, and they basically said, how can I deploy multiple node apps? So I'm guessing from that, they want to know how to actually host multiple node apps on one server, rather than actually the process of deploying uh, different apps. So that's the purpose and uh, the, the topic of this video today. So you're going to need a few things to get set up. You're going to need to have a server running with Nginx and also the PM2 node package and of course node running as well. And there's a few other videos that I did on this in the past. I'll put a link to those in the description below uh, just in case you haven't got any of those actually set up. So here we are on the server and in my uh, directory, my home directory, I've got some uh, uh, different uh, files and folders and the first thing I've got in there is this folder of app one uh, which we if we just have a look inside that uh, you can see there is uh, just an app.js file uh, which if we take a look at that uh, is just basically a simple uh, node server not using any packages other than the built-in node stuff uh, and it's going to set up a, a server running on port 3000 uh, and all it's going to do basically is when you uh, make a request to the server it's going to send back this little uh, fragment of html so that's the first app that we're going to be hosting um, and you might be tempted at this point to just write something like node app one app1.js uh, which will actually get this running but then it will tie that uh, process to this particular shell session and with that uh, done you, you, as soon as you exit the, the server or, or that shell session is terminated the node app will actually start running. So what we're going to do is use this package uh, called PM2 uh, so as mentioned you need to have this installed uh, before you go any further and basically when you run PM2 you get the option to actually start a new process in the background and then you can manage it once it's started so stop it and, and delete it if you need to later on. So what we're going to do is going to say PM app one and then app one.js and we need to tell it to start as well so PM2 uh, start and when that's done you should see you get this table come out and these are a few other apps that are already running uh, but we can see also we've got that app one listed there now uh, and that should be responding to requests now on uh, port 3000 so for example if I was to say something like make a curl request to localhost port 3000 you can see we're getting that HTML uh, being returned so that app is up and running and it's uh, serving uh, on that three, local 3000 port so the problem is now if we go to the domain name that's or the IP address for this server, um, then we're not going to be able to access that. So we need a way to actually make this node app public, and we do that in Nginx. So Nginx is going to act as a kind of uh, proxy. So p the requests actually come into Nginx, and then we forward them on uh, to the node app. So let me show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is just in the nano text editor, open up one of the config files in Nginx. So we've got this sites available folder. So uh, you might have multiple configuration files in here. Uh, you might have one called default. Uh, I've actually got one set up for a, a domain called devquotes.net, which is what is actually linked to this server. And it's another side project that I never, never got around to doing. So here's the, uh, the configuration. So at the moment, it's just set to serve HTML content from devquotes.net folder uh, in, in this particular location. But what we're actually aiming to do is proxy requests for a particular path on the domain or the IP address and, and pass it to that node server. So what we're going to say is we're going to create a new location block and we'll just get, give this a path of app one. So essentially this means that if we go to the domain forward slash app one, we're going to pass any requests to the node app that we've got running. So we'll say proxy pass and then it's same uh, the same URL that we just tested out in the terminal a moment ago. So it's basically localhost oops 3000 and that means that anytime nginx receives a request for forward slash app one we're going to send it directly to the node app so if we save that file uh, we need to make sure that the nginx config is okay we haven't made any mistakes uh, which is successful so that's good uh, and then we just need to reload nginx so that, that config is updated so we're using the system control command uh, we say reload nginx and if that gives us no errors, we should be good. And if we head on over to a browser now, so this is the uh, the domain that I uh, was mentioned a moment ago, and this is linked to the IP address of that server. Uh, we can go to app one, 
And now you can see we're getting the result of app one back from the node app uh, that we've got hosted. So that's how you basically, the basic mechanics of setting up hosting on Nginx for a node app. Uh, if we go to app two at the moment, you can see that there's nothing there. So what we can do now to host multiple uh, node apps is just basically copy the code that we've got and, and rinse and repeat that same process that we've just been through. So uh, hopefully this answers the question that was raised on uh, the YouTube comment as well. So uh, we're still, I think we're still in our uh, home folder, which we are. So what I'm going to do is basically copy uh, all of the code that's in the app one uh, folder. Um, and I'm going to call it uh, app two this time. Um, we'll just navigate into that app two folder and just rename app one to be app2.js uh, just so we can distinguish between the two and then the app2.js file we need to make a couple of changes here uh, the main one being the port number uh, because we can't bind to the same port as the other app uh, so I'm going to set this one to 4000 and less important but I'm just going to update the output that the HTML is being, that is being sent back from the server so we'll say app2 this time instead so let me save that and don't forget to get the uh, app up and running we're going to use pm2 so we'll say pm2 start uh, app2.js and there you can see it's running in our list of servers as well um, if you want to kind of uh, pull that list up as well you can just say pm uh, sorry pm2 list and you can see it will uh, it will just list it again so it's worth checking to make sure that it's still online because if there are any problems it will kind of show in an errored state there and then what was the next thing that we did we updated nginx so if i just go back through my list of commands here just so we can skip straight to uh, the devquotes.net nginx file and then it's just literally a case of creating another one of these location blocks so we'll say location and this could be anything that you like it doesn't have to match the uh, app names i'm just going to call it app2 though and then we do the same thing again we say proxy pass and local host and then remember we set up a different port number for the other one so it's 4000 this time uh, and again you can use any ports that you uh, wish but it makes sense to keep them in some kind of sequence maybe okay and we're going to save that file and then we're going to basically uh, check the config is okay with uh, nginx t and it's successful so that's good and then again let me just find the command to uh, reload nginx and um, what we should find now if we go over to the browser uh, remember app2 wasn't found before uh, but now you can see that app2 is uh, getting that html response back from the node app uh, that we've got set up in that separate folder uh, and if we go back to app1 of course that's still up and running so by doing that we've actually created multiple node apps being hosted on the same server and they're just mounted on different paths so that's pretty much all you need to know about hosting multiple node apps on a single server. There are obviously lots of different uh, configurations and options that you can pass in uh, to the proxy. And if you need to get specific information that's being passed from the initial request, you can do that as well. But that's the gist of it. And hopefully that's answered the question that was raised on the previous video. So that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.